almost every single person I interviewed and the questionnaire, the wider questionnaire I did, almost all of them converted after 9-11, mm -hmm. right? And 9-11 was often the catalyst that kind of drew them to even looking into Islam in the first place. So mm. something that seems like it was a, such a terrible disaster, it, it was a terrible disaster, but what I mean is for Muslims as well, like in terms of the way it makes Islam look, you know, etc. And that now people are never going to look into Islam, etc. Mm -hmm. I think it's ended up having the reverse effect. Mm -hmm. you know, it actually became the, the reason why people Googled Islam in the first place. Mm -hmm. The reason why people said, right, let me read this book. <coughs> let me read the Quran. Um, and similarly, I think what's going to happen in France, I might be naive or overly optimistic, is, uh, and in Europe, I think as, as Europe's non-Muslim population uh, is in decline, you know, and it is, you know, in terms of like the number of children the average European has, uh, non-Muslim compared to Muslim, and what effect that's going to have on economies. I think excluding Muslims is just going to be an impossibility for Europeans over time. Now, I don't know if that means that initially there's going to be a, a huge backlash, you know, uh, we might have some difficult days ahead, you know, because yeah. I, I do think a lot of the time the politicians, they jump onto Muslims as a convenient topic to draw attention away from other things, right, that are in the news, mm -hmm. uh, a scapegoat, something that a populist topic that everyone can have a strong view on, you know. Um, but I think over time, the more Muslims engage, the more of a positive community we are, the average person will say, no, I know a Muslim, they're not like that, you know. Mm. The Muslims in my community, they're the most helpful, they're the ones who do the, the yeah. care the most, right? Uh, so I think our job is to have sabr. And when you look at the meaning of sabr, people think it means be patient and just kind of like sit still and not do anything. But actually sabr is a very active word. It means be steadfast, hold on mm -hmm. and keep going, you know. Yeah. So, one one explanation for sabr, as the scholars give, is that it means continuing to obey Allah, continuing mm. to do the things that Allah commanded, and continuing to stay away from what Allah forbade. Mm -hmm. So if we continue on that, I think, as Allah says in Surah Al-Asr, you know, the whole of mankind is at loss, except those mm. who believe, mm. who work mm. righteous deeds, who basically enjoin the good and forbid the evil, mm. right? Tawasu bil haqq, they they talk, speak the truth and they they give other people exhortation to be upon the truth and they have sabr and they encourage others to have sabr. I mean, those those are literally the people who Allah says are not the losers. So mm -hmm. I think if we keep, stay our course, if the Muslims in France and all over Europe, if we become clever and, and just find ways of um, resisting, resisting this kind of constant attempt to wear away at our commitment and our conviction if we just keep going if we keep promoting family values uh in the end the muslim population is going to be an irresistible part of every single european country mm. yep that's very optimistic inshallah <laughs> the alternative is not it's, worth not, it's not worth thinking about yeah <laughs> no, exactly yes mm. but i do think muslims have to also be willing to move you know if they have to you know yeah, Hijra is, is, a, is a very real, uh, a live option. I know many people are thinking about it, not necessarily doing it, but we have to always be aware of that option, I think. But the and Hijra, of... doesn't, Hijra doesn't always have to be, you know, from, especially in our times, from the West to the East, you know, or from no, a... America, as Americans are saying, you, you could do Hijra internally in the States from, from say, a, a state that's very hostile or, or very liberal or, you know, putting values down on your children. So you can move to a much more traditional conservative area and muslims do the, the, some muslims move say from san francisco to texas or something i, I often, mm. often hear about that route or route as they say yeah uh, so yeah that's hydra but it's internal so you're right because america's such a huge continent you can do that where england's a bit different i'm not sure where we go what the, the lake district or the hebrides or uh anyway. but i think london and the major cities for example are you know being a muslim is very normal in the major cities in the uk yeah. i think in london so, it is, yeah and yeah, Birmingham, Birmingham as well, huge, um, huge population of Muslims in Birmingham, yeah.